Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Angu with you, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install Exempt on an ARC distribution of Linux that's called Manhero. So, let's get to it. So, in order to install this, let me just show you that it actually works first of all. So, here it is. This is WordPress on Linux, and this is on localhost. As you can see, it's Exempt. So, just like Windows, all you need to do is just search download Exempt. There are basically two different steps that we're going to do compared to Windows, and they are going to be very simple, okay? So, all you need to do, again, first step is go into Exempt, the ApacheFriends.org website over here, and then download PHP 8.1.6. Uh, this is the latest version that is available for Exempt right now. And I already installed this before, but I'm going to show you how you could install it on your own so the only differences between a normal installer is and an installer that run for example on linux or a dot sh for linux is that you're basically running a script so you just need to tell the machine that basic basically uh this script has the permissions to be run that's all we're basically going to do so in Linux, to go into your administrator, it's called a super user. You could just do su and then add in your password. You probably have this set up already. Or you could do sudo i. It is the same thing. However, you're in the actual root user, not your super user in sudo i. So afterwards, we are just going to go and press ls. So ls shows you the directory you're in. So we want to go into home. So change directory and then backslash home ls and then we're gonna go into our user this is the name of the user i have over here uh, and then we, i'm just gonna go into my downloads and as you could see over here we have the installer of exam on the bottom the only problem is right now this installer we don't have the permissions to run so if i do lsla see we have the read and write permissions only on the left over here these are the permissions so to change this all you need to do is just chmod recursively and then 755 and then the name of the exam installer so you could just write the initials and then press tab and it would write it on its own or you could just copy and paste this after this command. Okay, so I'm going to write it again. chmod recursively. And then 755. Exam. And just press the initial and then tab. So to double check the permissions, again, you could press LSLA. And as you can see right now, we can run it. So to run it, all we need to do is just press a dot. Backslash. A, then exam. The name of the runner itself that does one script so I already have this installed I'm not gonna install this again but all you need to do is just press next next and as you can see example will be installed to this folder uh, backslash opt and then lamp so I'm not gonna reinstall it because I already have this installed but why do we need to go into our opt folder so Basically, our OPT folder uh, or our LAMP folder over here, it's just like on Windows when you install uh, exam in local C. It is kind of the same thing, but exam over here is put it in a folder that's called LAMP because uh, the only difference is you're going to be using a Maria database instead of a full-on MySQL database. So you're using a Maria database. So that is the difference. You're not using the regular version of MySQL. You're using a uh, Maria the database over here and some Perl. So that is the only difference. So just bear that in mind. So we just installed the example as you can see. Right now we do not really need to do anything else. If you want to double check your example installation, just go into your local host. And you're going to find this. So that's how you know it's installed. Okay, so afterwards, you're just going to download uh, WordPress, but not from WordPress.com. We're going to go into WordPress.org. Okay, 
let me close everything up i don't want to make this scattered okay get wordpress and then download wordpress 6.0.1 and open up a uh, a root file manager so we could just open and soon our root over here or a root file manager over here and i'm just gonna open up the uh, file manager at root as you can see you are using the root account you may harm your system don't worry about that uh okay so download wordpress so after it is installed all you need to do is just extract it and copy the wordpress folder as you can see over here into you go over here and just change the directory opt lamp and then just on one like on windows in the htdocs folder you're just going to copy your wordpress file okay there is just one last step we need to do so again like i said extract the file copy it and put it here so i already have that or over here i'm not going to copy and paste this uh, so i don't have to set up everything uh, else from the beginning again for myself uh, i'm just going to go into my wordpress folder and i'm going to show you something okay so the regular WordPress folder, if I do extract it, it's going to usually have a WP config, but it's going to be a sample. So let me just show you that this is the original one. And this is the like the custom one I made. It's not really custom. I just added in some options. Uh, so as you can see, the official one, like if you download this from WordPress, it's not going to have the WP config.php. So all you need to do is just copy, paste this, and then rename your WP config sample copy to WP config. Okay. And then into your WP config, as you can see right now, you need to mention in the uh, database user host name and everything so if i go into my local host you're gonna find out that i already have this setup like i already have a uh, a database set up for wordpress and that is what you're gonna basically add so you can create a new database over here so if you go into databases you could just create a uh, or actually you could do something better you just go into user accounts add a user account and create the credentials you want over here just make sure that the credentials you create over here are the same that are going to be added over here so if you're going to create a database with the same name and create a database with the same username uh, basically you're going to add in the database name over here and the username over here and then the password over here so that is the best way to do it because basically you're not allowing anyone to access your database but if you're a little bit confused with this step you could just do root uh, you could just add in your database name over here just create a database and just use the root user and then give it an empty password okay you are going to find out that this will not work for me. Why? Because I changed the usernames over here. So that is the best, a better practice, honestly, than just using the default username and password. So uh, you have a safer local development environment. And that is pretty much it after downloading, after, uh, yeah, after downloading WordPress and putting it into the htdocs folder. That is all you need to do is just set up your WP config with your PHP uh, my admin uh, information that you're gonna set up for your database and afterwards you're just gonna go into localhost and then WordPress and then uh, you're gonna start installing it so if I go into localhost and WordPress it's gonna give you all right sparky and then you're just gonna press next next and you're just gonna install it and that is pretty much it for in terms of installing wordpress on linux and starting the development with it so again the only step that it's not gonna be available on it uh, as you can see over here on my 
original one is the WP config, you need to create one for yourself. Because uh, on Linux, for some reason, it does not create it. Even if you do enter the correct uh, credentials over here in the graphical panel, that's why I didn't show you that because it's not really necessary. Uh, the necessary step relies in here. You just need to add in your credentials over here from your PHP my app. And that is pretty much it, you guys, for uh, developing uh, exam on developing with exam on Linux. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Comment, a like, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. This was Angle Edu, and peace.